Do you recognize me? Yeah. I come in here every night. Okay. And you're saying I look suspicious? And you're telling this you're telling this cop here? You're telling this cop? I'm pretty sure there's a lot of things he could be doing right now. Yeah. But you got him specific, uh, no, asking me. Okay. Now tell me why I look suspicious. You're just walking around and you're not buying Like a normal shit. person. Where? I'm doing my job. That's the only thing I'm doing. I don't think you are. Oh, I'm not doing that. Because you're telling me that I look suspicious walking around when the store and I'm back clearly... Back so what? This is a store. What's going on, guys? It's Order the Product News. This video comes to us from fellow Chicago and V.D. Wayne. I'll put the link in the description so you can go over to his Instagram page and show him some love. He's a musician. And uh, you can go over there and follow him. First off, I want to make it clear that I believe this is a case of racial profiling. The loss prevention guy for Walgreens, I mean, he doesn't even have an excuse. Just that the guy's walking around the store. So what? You know, if people walk around the stores and don't buy anything, what's any difference between him? But the police officers here are put between a rock and a hard place because they're called by an agent of the store to have somebody removed from their store. Because even though it is open to the public, it still is private property. So they have the right to refuse you service. They cannot refuse you service on the, on the grounds of race, sexual orientation, religion. But that is a civil matter. Please do not get involved in civil matters. You would have to take that against Walgreens and off the top of my head, I would think it would be a 1981 uh, civil rights case if it was federal, if, he, if he's going to sue them on the federal level. So what I think the police could have done differently, if they came up to him and said, hey, man, you got to go, they maybe could have approached the situation differently because as time goes on, it becomes abundantly clear who the problem is, and it's not V.D. Wayne. Let's watch. I'm sorry, uh, can you explain one more time why you're telling me to leave? Yeah, the security guard said that, uh, I'll turn my camera on to you. Yeah, okay. So the security guard said he, he, I don't know why he does not want you here, so we can go talk to him if you want to. Yeah, let's go talk oh, to him. Come on. Now, wh wh how did you approach me at first, though? Wh what'd you say? I said, what's up, man? No, you didn't. What'd you say? I said, hey, what's up, man? No, no, what's the first thing you said? I don't know. You said, hey, man, you gotta go. And then I said, why? No, I said, hey, what's up, no, man? And you you got hey. to record it? Yeah. I got I to record it yeah. as well. <clears throat> it's fucking ridiculous, man. Right here. What's up, boss? How you doing? Uh, what, what was just, that? You just walking around. I don't know what, you, what you're looking for. What do you mean you don't know what I'm looking for? Uh, I'm yeah. clearly looking for something. Well, why are you That's, looking? Is there a problem with me walking around? Yeah, if you look suspicious, yeah. What, what about me look suspicious? I mean, you just walking around... I'm walking around. I'm literally walking around. I'm literally walking around. I'm looking for a specific cat food. I'm looking for uh, lint rollers. And I'm looking for uh, a soup that I want. And I'm also looking around for stuff that I want to get. I got a flight tomorrow and I'm looking for shit I could travel with. I don't need help. Okay. Who are we looking for? Let's go talk to somebody, because I come in here every day. I live right down the street. You want to see my uh, address? Yeah. You want to know where I live? You want to see where I live too, right? Okay. Yeah. You're just choking up right now. You see, that's just two blocks away. Hey, do I come in here a lot? Do you recognize me? Yeah. I come in here every night. And you're saying I look suspicious? And you're telling this, you're telling this cop here? You're telling this cop? I'm pretty sure there's a lot of things he could be doing right now. Yeah. But you got him specific, uh, no, asking me. And you're telling him I'm suspicious? When you're walking around, walking you look suspicious watching me as I'm trying to shop. I'm doing my job. You're not doing a good job at it. Okay. Now tell me why I look suspicious. You're just walking around and you're not buying Like nothing. a normal yeah. person. You came the first time. Literally a normal person. You came the first time. Yes. You didn't buy nothing. You just That's came. okay. That's all right. What are you looking at me like that for? No. All right, who are we going to? Who do we need to talk to? You say you need to talk to your manager. 
Where? I'm doing my job. That's the only thing I'm doing. I don't think you are. Oh, I'm not doing my job. Because you're telling me that I look suspicious walking around the store, and I'm clearly... So what? This is a store. So what? Sir? What are you sitting there looking at me like that for? You could be calling me. I'm not doing nothing. I'm doing my job. That's it. And your job is to point out people that walk into no, the I store and say they look suspicious? You're going to tell these cops here that I'm uh, suspicious walking around like... There's a lot of people walking around, just walking around. Am I the only one that looks suspicious? No. Well, who else did you point out? Who else did he point out to y'all? Nobody. So why are you approaching me, asking me what I'm? Why did you tell me I gotta go? Because he he told me that you have to leave. And why did you tell him that I have to leave? Why? Because he came the first time. I didn't see you by nothing. I, I'm seeing you from walking this out here. So you're what? Asking, you're not even so what? You're not I have a. I'm on the rewards team here. I spend a lot of money here, and I come here every night around this time after I get off of work. So what? I just see you back walking back and forth. So you're gonna, what are you going to do? Are you going to let him keep shopping? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. What do you mean? Okay, okay. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and shop. So you're good to go, man. What's so funny? I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. Do I have a what's, what's the chuckles about? Who's chuckles? Nobody's laughing. My camera went off. I'm not, I'm not laughing at anything. Because I, I don't think this is funny, bro. Nobody's, nobody's laughing. Funny. I nobody, said you're good to go. Laughing. He said you can shop. You're good to go. Like, okay? this is some bullshit, bro. No, I'm no, it's not. Just no. I'm just, no, it's not. This is some bullshit, bro. I'm a part of the rewards team. I didn't say you. You want to look at how much money I spend in here? I see people shopping too. I don't, I don't see. So who you said we got to talk to somebody to see if it's okay if I'm you still. You need help. Can I still shop? Yes, I tell you yes. Can yeah. I still shop? Am I good? He said yeah. Go ahead. Am I good? Uh, good to go. Am I good? Got here, but. <laughs> I, I, he just told this cop that I, I'm suspicious and I gotta go. Okay. Ain't that bogus? So, well, it's not on us. If, if somebody, any store, if somebody says that. So, they do, go, do you have I any can't... feedback for this man to do his job better? Do I need feedback? Do you have any feedback for this gentleman to do his job better? Um. Give him some feedback. I've maybe talked talk to the person before, before you meet okay. and find out what's going okay. on. He said he needed some help. He was looking for some stuff. Okay, that I could yeah, somebody perfect. could help you. Maybe before telling a cop that I should be kicked out, maybe you should ask me if I need help. Does that sound like a like a reasonable idea? Yes. You're right. I would have liked to seen the officers come down a little bit harder on the loss prevention guy and say, listen, uh, just because somebody's wandering around a store doesn't mean uh that they're stealing something right uh in fact this guy goes in there every night as he said but like i said the police are in a rock rock in a hard spot it's private property if they if they're asked by an agent of the store that to remove somebody that they don't want them on their property that's kind of what their job is you know they're in a known win situation there but his legal remedy is to go after Walgreens, right? His legal remedy is to go after Walgreens. So leave in the comment section below, what do you think um, the store could have done different? What do you think the police could have done different? Um, what do you think could have been done different to avoid this situation? Or did the police do exactly what they should have done? Leave your comments below. My name is Disorderly Product News. Wishing you and yours a safe and happy weekend. Good night.